Good day guys, today we are finally making a settings video. Now I have made these in the past and I only make these when I change my settings and recently I've worked out a way to crouch in death boxes. Now it's not the most insane thing and it's definitely not as good as PC but it has saved my life a few times and that is by changing my button layout. Now simply what I did was I went to controller, button layout and I swapped from the default button layout, which you can't crouch and teabag while looting a box, but on button puncher you can. Now the reason you can't on default is because the circle button to crouch and teabag is also the same button to leave the death box and to cancel looting. So if you try teabag, it'll instantly exit the death box. But with button puncher, your crouch is now the right stick button. Now a bunch of you guys might play on this already because it makes it easier to crouch while in a gunfight so you don't have to take your finger off aiming and crouching if you guys don't know and spamming crouch can make people miss bullets and most players actually use it in gunfights to try to throw the enemy off, me included. You will see me do a lot of crouch shotting in my videos but only at close ranges because it does move your like crosshair up and down which can throw off your shot at longer ranges. So. You can now teabag while looting if you change that. That's optional, it's up to you, because in boxing matches and punching people, it does make it more difficult circle being crouch. Like if I'm in a boxing match at the end of the game and someone sees my name in the kill feed, I, I suck at it now because I can't look while punching. I have to take my finger off the aim button to press circle to punch them, which can get me killed, even though that's a very, very, very unlikely situation for me to be in a boxing match. I usually like to find a gun first and I rarely do boxing matches at the end of the game. So yeah, it could it could get you killed there in the 0.1% of the time when you end up in a boxing match. So completely optional. Now, most of the other settings I'm gonna fly through because they're not that important, but tap to reload just reloads faster for me instead of like holding down the button. That's why I have tap to use reload. Crouch is toggle. Hold to crouch can be good for like bunny hopping and stuff, but just pressing it once instead of holding it down for the whole slide is easier, which is why I use toggle to crouch. Aim button hold, you'd never want to have it on toggle. You press the button, I don't know. Some people might do it, but it's just weird. Every time I want to aim down sides, I just hold down the trigger. It's how I've always done it. So yeah, that's why. L2 and R2 dead zones, very important, none. Unless you got a buggy controller, definitely play on none. If you put it on none and your gun just shoots randomly without you touching the trigger, that's probably, you probably have to turn it up. But the quicker your gun goes to shooting, the better. It's more advantage. And if you play on anything but none and you don't have a glitchy controller, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Because when you go to shoot your gun, it'll be slightly, slightly a fraction of a second delayed, which could mean the difference between life and death. Menu cursor speed. Honestly, I should probably turn this up more, but when I do, like I sometimes like miss items, I don't know. Right now it's at about a quarter speed. I know a lot of people play higher, it's all personal preference. Now that we got to look sensitivity and look ADS sensitivity, this is where I've changed it and I've turned my sensitivity ADS down to three, which sounds extremely low, but there's a reason for it. And that's because I've gone ahead and changed the linear response curve. Now the reason I did this was because I wanted to learn something new and something refreshing why there hasn't been content in Apex for a while even though there's heaps coming soon and I wanted to just learn something new so I changed the linear. Now this is all personal preference and I honestly don't think linear is better than what I originally had it on and what most of you guys would have it on which is classic. Classic has some good advantages. If you move your controller a, a tiny little bit it'll like slow it down so you have like more control at like fine adjustments at long ranges. But also, if you move your stick really fast, it'll like speed up your aim, and that's why it's called a response curve, and it'll like make you turn around faster. So the small movements will be like smaller, and the fast movements will be faster, if that makes sense, which I think it would to most of you. With linear, it's all the same. A small movement will move the same speed as a fast movement. Now there are some advantages kind of, and there are some downsides to linear. Like my long range simply isn't as good. And the reason for that is, is because of range of motion. Now I can control at long range, I can definitely still destroy people at long range, but the fact of the matter is I don't have the same amount of control. If I move my stick a millimeter on linear, it's gonna move more than if I did a millimeter movement on classic, for example. That's simply because it doesn't have the same slowdown at the small range and the speed up at the long range. And same thing at fast movements, if I want to turn around really quick, it will not have that acceleration so I can't like turn around as fast. The advantages are flicking and changing targets is always 
sort of predictable and like at close ranges I feel like it can be beneficial just flicking and all being the same if that makes any sense to you which I think it probably should and I don't know honestly I don't think there's any big huge difference and definitely they both have ups and downs but linear and playing on at the moment and I'm enjoying it and I'm still frying kids so that's the most important thing right look dead zone now this is the important part of linear I always paid on no look zone but some for some reason on linear my controller has more stick drift and the way to counter having stick drift is by turning your dead zone up so normally I was on none but with linear I had to play on small and I also had to turn my sensitivity down simply because at longer ranges you don't have the same degree of control but at closer ranges I don't know it just feels nice so that is the major changes I've made so far the rest of this stuff isn't that important it's like inverted look some they're very rare but there's some people that actually play on inverted I know one of them Sonic the Ledgepog he plays on inverted just because that's the way he's learned to play like way back in the day he's a boomer by the way <laughs> I'm only joking Sonic but yeah he plays on inverted. Let's not even go there. He controls his recoil by pushing up on his stick instead of down, which is crazy. Vibration off, I definitely suggest you learn to play with the vibration off. It won't help you in any way. And it literally vibrates your controller, which might throw off one in a thousand kills. I don't know. There's just no point in it and it could hurt you instead of help you. Advanced look controls, a lot of people play around with these. I don't need to. I like with what I have with my controller settings right now. And I'm going to keep it that way. Video, field of view. 104. Now I know a lot of people play on max which isn't that much more like barely noticeable of a difference but I play on 104 because I feel like I get more frames per second in like some areas like water treatment, capital city, stuff like that where frames do dip which some people won't notice but I definitely do. Sprint view shake definitely should have this on minimum. I don't think I need to explain that. Your screen shaking while sprinting around is by no means anything beneficial and would only hurt you. Audio this is all like personal preference, but I've turned my music, my lobby music down, dialogue music way down so I don't have Bangalore screaming in my ear. You're shooting blank so you just miss a lot. And these are just what I've chosen. You can copy them, but honestly, all the settings I've shown you today are used as a guide at the maximum. I'd rather you guys select stuff that works for you. Because just copying someone else's settings isn't gonna do anything for you. If anything, it's gonna hurt you. Like when I first changed to linear, I sucked, bro. I was terrible. It took me a while to get used to it, and then I did get used to it. But you know, like just find what works for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't just go and copy someone else's. It's not gonna do anything for you except probably hurt you. Whatever you guys like, play around with it and choose what works the best for you. That's the best thing for settings. But I thought I'd make a guide and an update and fill a few people in because I've seen a few comments on YouTube asking how you're teabagging and moving around while you're looting and that is how with these settings. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something new and I'm glad I finally got this out of the way and I won't make one for another billion years unless they make any additional updates to the game. Hopefully console players will be able to move around more so while looting soon. I'm hoping they work out a way to do that because crossplay is obviously coming, and it's such an advantage to not get absolutely lasered while looting a box, like PC players strafing around looting. It's insane. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. You guys, listen to this. Watch this. <coughs> Mighty Zeus, God of Thunder from Down Under. <coughs> Anybody have a lozenge? That really, I might be bleeding in the throat right now.